what this says about the direction of some of the directives that you have issued. And different well, that has nothing that to do. The, the court cases have nothing to do with directives I've issued. They have everything to do with the Ohio law. I'm just following the law. But how it reflects on you, though? As you no, no, because in the end, it's how the elections run that really matter. Uh, there's going to be a lot of noise. There are going to be a lot of people uh, trying to create controversy where none exists, throwing lawsuits at the wall, and, that, and that's fine. That's all part of living in a swing state. Uh, you'll find that if, if you want to follow election controversy, go to a place where you're a, you're a state that can decide the, decide the outcome of the presidential election, and controversy will be there pre-election. What I'm worried about is that we don't have controversy post-election, which means making sure that we have all the rules worked out, that the courts are, the courts are clear well in advance. That's why I have no objection to this uh, uh, ruling today, because if they want more, fine. Tell us in advance. Let's make sure that we work these issues out, because when voters start to cast ballots 45 days before the election by for military voters, 35 days for all, all the other voters, that, that we're clear, it's set, and by the time we get to the elections, things will run smoothly. Uh, and we're prepared to do that, uh, and 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 no one will remember about the political hyperbole that occurred uh, that we've we've gone through the last couple of weeks. Considering what the court.